What should I say to him? Don't worry. It'll come to you. You'll see. Well, I just hope he'll be there. Alive. Noble, right? Yes, so am I. Sir Radzik will be there. This is quite a turnaround, isn't it? What do you mean? How long have we known each other? A few weeks? Something like that. Before that, I was chasing wenches around Rate and you were digging turnips. And now look at us. A pair of veterans. Yeah. Uh, I was an apprentice blacksmith, not a turnip digger. Same difference, you silly bugger. Yeah. What will you do now? Not long ago, I only made plans three days yeah. ahead at most. Maybe I really could do something for Rate and its people. Something really big. But there'll be plenty of time for that later. No sign of them. Move on. There! I'm glad to see your span kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Let's go! I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, I'll have to go back on foot. It looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. We catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. But where's the honor in abandoning your son? Hmm. You know how it is. We were young. It happened, and I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Well, he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own, and I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. 
I know so little about his past. He told you nothing? Oddly enough, even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't think he cared much for it. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. <laughs> I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah, the sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but... just then I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over, unfortunately. Well, that's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan, too. And then I'll find that German whore son who torched Scalitz, and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Wart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Look around you. Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls. Good wine. A few good friends and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. Though I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. It's like I always imagined it would be, teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better if you were a little smaller. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin? I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Son. Father. Come now. You know who sired you. That doesn't matter now. I miss you, Amar. I miss you very much. You'll be fine. We're proud of you. For what? I let you down. I, I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done to save us. And someone has to live and carry the torch. As for the sword, it's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. 
and did what was right. I have to leave you now. Oh, please. You know I can't stay. Will I ever see you again? God knows. Make her proud. were you dreaming about? I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobbs. Right. I'll go straight away. What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzig's son, hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. Oh, give over, you idiot. Do I look like a lord to you? Not really. You're as much a lord as I am a nun. And I've never looked good in a habit. Get out of here! Or I'll have you clapped in the stocks. 